Hello, this is Anna Shaw, and for this project, I decided to take three different sort of mythical folklore creatures and try to create the kind of roar or sound that they would make. Um, so this project was kind of interesting. I originally started by trying to combine some different sounds in Premiere, and then found that the settings um, didn't work as well as I hoped they would, so I ended up switching over to Audition, and that was interesting because I have never worked in Audition, so I kind of had to figure it out from scratch and work from there. Um, ultimately, I ended up using the pitch control mostly with a little bit of the reverb effect, um, which we'll hear kind of when we go into the different creatures whose sounds I tried to recreate. So the first creature I worked on was the Minotaur, which is obviously the half-man, half-bull creature that we find in Greek mythology. Um, and for this one, I kept it pretty simple, um, and I just kind of took two different bull noises and combined them. So here's the sound I ended up with. And for this one, I just took two bull noises from this audio track that I found. Um, and I thought they kind of overlaid good, and so I combined them, and then I used some of the pitch control to deepen the sound, and then also the reverb effect to kind of make it, make it a little bolder. Um, and yeah, and that's the sound that I ended up with for that one. I'll play it one more time. So that is the sound of the Minotaur. The second creature that I decided to make a noise for was a creature from Japanese folklore, the Tengu, which is a crow spirit. So I'm going to play the noise that I came with at the end. So for this one, I kind of spent a little bit of time looking into what this creature is um, and what kind of sound it would make. So for the actual crow sound, I took just a quick clip of the crow cawing and then I did some pitch effects on there and reverb and then I actually duplicated that so there's two two separate um, tracks of the same thing and then did a little bit of different settings with the second one and kind of made that a fuller sound. I also found that um, in the actual mythology, Tengus are known for being carriers of war. So I found some sword fighting sounds and kind of overlaid those and tried to mesh them in. Also, I used some thunderclaps because I also read that they are accompanied by thunder sometimes. So I tried to incorporate that in there as well to kind of make, again, make the sound fuller and more powerful. So I'll play that sound effect one more time. That's what I ultimately came to for the Tengu. Um, the final creature that I made a noise for is the Lukwada, which is kind of a sea creature of Ugandan folklore. Um, it lives in Lake Victory, which is located in Uganda. And basically, it's kind of like a whale with a long extended neck. This one was kind of interesting because um, I wanted to do something, something of the sea. So for this one, I found a track of various whale noises, kind of combine those. I'll go ahead and play the sound, the final sound that I got. So yeah, for this one, I took, um, there are three separate whale noises and kind of overlapped them. Again, I kind of worked with the pitch and the reverb effect to, again, make the sound a little deeper and more full. Um, and then also, I found a cool sound effect from a, a device called a creaker, um, which is like rope and wood, and you pull a little lever, and it's used to make sort of a creaking wood sound. So this creature is known for sinking fisher fishermen um, when they're out at sea. Um, I added kind of the wood creak that you would hear on a boat at sea. And you can sort of hear that in the sound of this creature. 
So yeah, those are the three creatures that I decided to try and make the noise for. I'll play back all of them uh, real quick. So first I did the Minotaur. And then there is the Japanese Tengu. And then finally the Ugandan Lukwada. And there we are. This project was really fun. Um, I got to learn a little bit of audition and kind of mess around in there. So yeah, thanks for listening and I hope you enjoyed.